from the allotment. I've been very, very busy. I've got a blister on my hand. Um, and I've picked all the, of my pumpkins. Now they all vary in size. I've got some diddy little switch ones here. And then they gradually get, oh dear me, get bigger. And then I've got some bigger ones here. Now these are just the normal pumpkins. I do have a few more, but I couldn't carry any more. And this is my Atlantic giant, giant, not quite so giant. I think he looks very sweet with his, I think that's his mouth. So we're gonna have fun when we carve him. He's, he's hollow, you tap him and he's hollow. Now you need to pick these when the top or the plant has gone brown because then they're not going to grow anymore. And in fact, we actually had a slight frost last night down on the allotment site. So certain sort of crops have decided to, the tender ones have sort of um, started to sort of droop a little bit. So I picked him today. I picked those the other day actually. And now we're going to weigh him. But let's stick him on the scales. Oh, it's just gone off. Turn it on again and see how far he goes. Oh, that can't be it. Is that all he is? <laughs> He's not even half a stone. <laughs> Shall we weigh him in kilos because it will go a bit higher and uh, I have to change this thing over. Get very complicated. Let's look a little bit more impressive. Well, it's no record breaker, but it's, or was it 3.3 and a half kilos or 0.7 of stone? Uh, it's a long way to breaking my all time record, but I'm going to save some of these seeds and uh, plant some next year. So hopefully I'll get a bigger one next year. Fingers crossed, shall we anyway? So I hope you found that useful. And uh, over the half term, the kids and I are going to carve these. Um, and hopefully have lots of fun and scare lots of children as they come in for Halloween. Well, let me know how your pumpkins get on and it will be interesting to find out how heavy yours get. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.